Hello all there, Tony Baker from Six String Country, back for yet another lesson in our CCR series. On um, this one, it's gonna be on Have You Ever Seen the Rain? It was written by John Fogarty. We're gonna tackle it in the original album key, which is the key of C, where we're gonna have an acoustic part and a nearly identical electric guitar part. And on that recording, um, the acoustic is more prominent, but they had electrics in there too, and that's what kind of gives it the texture um, that makes it sound the way it does. So we'll go over both of those parts. And then as a bonus, we'll do another uh, tutorial that's using the key of G chords. And the reason to do it like that is because uh, John Fogarty has a really high voice, and if you're playing solo acoustic and vocal, and you have a lower voice than John Fogarty, like me, um, you might want to play this song in the key of G instead of the key of C. Uh, it's very doable, and we can even incorporate some of the uh, riffs, you know, uh, Uh, it's easier to do that even when we're playing in uh, the key of G. And then you can tailor it to your vocal range and you can even capo up, you know, all the way from uh, no capo all the way up to capo 5, which is the album key, using those chord shapes instead of the key of C. In this lesson, we're going to be going over both the acoustic and the electric part because they're nearly identical. Okay, uh, There's just a couple little differences that we can talk about all in the context of this lesson. But all we're doing on both guitars for the studio version, which we're learning here, uh, is strumming through this song. Okay, And we're doing mainly the same chords. We're going to use a little bit of a different F chord shape. And um, we're going to add in just a couple extra strums on the acoustic guitar in the introduction. Other than that, it's the same part. All right, so for both acoustic and electric, you can watch this tutorial, and we're gonna dive into the introduction now. Um, so we're gonna start with this A minor chord and get our fingers on it, which is open A string, second fret, second fret, first fret, open. And then if you're on electric guitar, you'll play this kind of an F chord. This is what I heard. I didn't hear the low strings on the electric guitar track. And that's third fret of D, uh, second fret of G, and then uh, pointer finger is going to bar the first fret of B and high E. And if you're on acoustic, I did hear those, so you can still play this if you're on acoustic, all right? But if you can, play this bar chord. You're just adding in a little low end, all right? And so that's barring the whole first fret, then you've got third fret, third fret, second, bar, bar, okay? The next chord is a standard C chord. 3rd fret of A, 2nd fret, open, 1st, open, and there's no wrong way to play a G major chord here. Um, you, know, you could do this, this, for fingering purposes coming off this F, I like coming here, which is ring finger on the open, oh, I'm sorry, ring finger on the 3rd fret of low E, mute the A string, open, 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 and then 3rd fret of high E. And that's going to get us through all the way through to the chorus. All right. So what I'd like to do first is just all together get our fingers on the main strum pattern on an A minor chord. Uh, it looks like this. Two, three, four. All right. Let's just get that really locked in before we go over uh, the chord changes. So we're doing down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. This is a little bonus lesson on have you ever seen the rain in the key of G for those of us with lower voices. And it's also going to give us an opportunity to incorporate some of these uh, riffs we hear that the bass and the keyboard are doing into more of a solo acoustic arrangement that you could do with solo acoustic and vocal. Okay, so I'm going to just, I'll demonstrate the intro and uh, verse and the chorus. That's going to be able to demonstrate just about everything we need to know. I'm going to go ahead and tab out the, just the riffs. The strumming is exactly the same um, as the uh, studio version. So I won't tab all that out again, but uh, I will tab out just these extra little riffs that we're doing in the key of G. All right, so here's how it looks and sounds. Come for the storm, and I know 
It's been coming for some time When it's over, so to say It'll rain sunny day And I know Shine down like water And I So once we learn that, you got all the tools to do this entire song in this style, okay? Uh, so it's, the, the strumming is, is nothing new, we already went over this, it's just two quick down-ups, or it's a one quick down-up, two quick strums. And then we launch into the same strum pattern, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, stop and go over to the G, down, down, up, down, down, sorry, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then we do this riff. at the bottom of the key of G chord chart, um, you've got it written out there, the notes. E, D, B, B, and it really goes down all the way to a low D right there, right? But we'd have to down tune that, and that's gonna screw us up a little bit. So I just go to an A instead. It's a little bit of a variation, a little bit of an improv there, okay? But um, it gets that lick done. If that bothers you, you could go, or, uh, you can go back to this high D, but I like, for me, you can even hit both of them there. Then you're going to the G, all right? So we got open D, second fret, third fret, and then open D, we're gonna hammer on with our pointer finger to the second fret, back to open D, and then hammer on A to B, again, and then open A string, and Get that little bit of that deep. 